uh, we were delivering breakfast trays around their hospital and things. And I walked into a room and there was a, an elderly patient in there. The first thing she asked me was, well, did you bring me cake? Today's my birthday, did you bring me my birthday cake? And I said, well, not exactly. I've got pancakes on the tray. It's got the word cake in it. Maybe that'll count a little bit. Jeff is a very caring individual. He has the patient up front first and foremost every day that he comes to work. I noticed she was on a low sodium diet. I found out she could have a strawberry shortcake. And someone down there had made a little uh, paper thing and decorated it a little bit and had everybody sign it that we could find and took it back up to her and she was just tickled to me. He sees patients, I think, as his mom and dad and treats them as how he would want his mom and dad to be treated if they were in the hospital. And I thought, you know, it's a special day and she's here at the hospital, not the place she wanted to be, I'm sure. Put yourself in the patient's shoes, they don't want to be there. Try to make their stay a little nicer. Just little things sometimes. Make them smile if you can. I think it kind of comes from within. Um, that's not something you train somebody to be like. They have to already kind of have that built into them. The patient comes first when you're at Adlin Hospital, and Jeff exemplifies that very, very well. That patient always comes first. You just gotta stop and think, why are they there? Why are you there? You're there to make them get better and get out. Lindsay happened to be working the front desk and a gentleman had come in in a wheelchair with two small children. Um, he did not speak very good English, pretty broken. He was actually supposed to be at United Medical Park and I got out of him that he was to be waiting for his son who had an appointment. The doctor's office could not see them at this point because they had missed their appointment, so they were gonna reschedule. He had been dropped off by a taxi driver and that was pretty much his means of transportation, so he had no way of getting back home with these children. It was getting later in the day, offices were closing, and all we knew is we had to solve the problem. I then had said, I will go ahead and drive them home in my car, but the children were so little that I said we have to have a car seat. I don't feel comfortable taking them home without a car seat. We made three or four phone calls and the last cab was like, well sure, I've got car seats in my trunk, I'll be right there. And we ended up getting them home. The biggest reward was that they satisfied that patient's need at that time, no matter how long it took or whatever it, um, the time it took for them to do it or the expense or anything, um, they solved that patient's need and they took care of that family. I think that demonstrates accountability because just because he came into our hospital and he wasn't in the right place for his appointment, we still need to be accountable for our patients and visitors that come to the hospital. We have people present all the time. They don't know what they're doing there. They don't know how, who they're supposed to see and why. So we kind of have to play detective. They do it every single day. And again, there's no, there's no challenge that's too big or too small. They're gonna handle it and they're gonna make sure it's um, completed to the end, best outcome. We had a patient with Down syndrome come in and was a little bit nervous. He didn't want to get on the x-ray table and Alyssa kind of coached him to get up out of the chair and initially got him laying down on the table, took an abdomen x-ray on him. When he got up, all he wanted to do was dance and Alyssa let him dance her all over the x-ray room, twirling and dipping with a smile on her face the whole time. He was happy that you know, I recognize that he wanted to dance with me. Alyssa's extremely positive, and she's always looking for that something in everybody that she can just kind of recognize and respect. I always like to make sure that they feel good when they leave the room. She just noticed that he was a little apprehensive, and she just kind of used that and kind of played into what he needed and just made sure that she got it done and he was happy in the end. I think it's just showing care for individuality and you know not every patient is the same. He needed a little additional attention and she was going to make sure that he got it. I keep in mind best outcome for every patient every time. That little extra effort can go a long ways. I would hope anybody who works at Allen would treat everybody as they would want one of their family members to be treated. To give them the extra bit of time so that they know they're important to us. Corey came in as a multiple gunshot wound. 
We were told four gunshot wounds to the back and abdomen, possibly the chest. I responded to the trauma. He was pretty critical. He was scared and, uh, you know, he asked me if he was going to make it and I told him he was. We were um, taking Corey's blood and recycling it uh, to give him back his own blood. That's part of our protocol and, and the blood bank was giving us everything I needed to resuscitate him. Um, the way the massive transfusion protocol works is every 20 minutes we have to get a shipment down to him. We needed blood very quickly and they were very prompt at getting all the blood products to us that we needed. Um, at one point they had to get more in the hospital. We'd used everything up. That patient had already received over 35 RBCs. Um, normal body has anywhere from seven to 10, so we had replaced that patient basically four times over for red cells. Compared to what we do in blood bank, that's roughly three full days of work. I remember taking him off the ventilator on his birthday. To bring that many people together that quickly and that organized takes a lot of preparedness. There's no one person that could have done this alone. It takes a whole team of people and everybody's skills together to make sure that somebody makes it that's this critical.